Hey guys, this video is to cover the uh, Image Dynamic 65 CTX. Blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. The Image Dynamic CTX 65 CS, which is a really nice component system that they carry. Um, one of the benefits in ordering from us is we are Image Dynamics authorized dealers, so you get the full year warranty with our product with when you order from us. We are authorized to sell these online, but only bundled with our products. We can't sell the products on their own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through opening a box and showing you what's included when you order our kit. So let me grab the box and crack it open. Okay. First thing you're going to notice is, let me see if I'm getting this, hopefully I'm getting this in the camera, is the speaker mounts. Uh, these are made specifically for your Toyota. And then we cut this mounting diameter specifically for the uh, CTX 65 CS. We also um, include the tweeter mount that you're going to need that works in your Toyota as well. And then uh, with these two parts, there's no special cutting or drilling or anything. So the other thing I'd like to mention is um, our standard out of the box product or our standard order is includes this outdoor grade MDF product. It's actually pretty nice. It's made with uh, zinc and I think zinc borate. I can't remember exactly, but it's an outdoor grade material. It's not just your regular store-bought MDF. This is a full one inch thick. Okay, you're gonna notice that the speakers are trimmed out here, very similar to what's in your uh, Toyota already. And the reason for that is um, I've seen guys that have tried to make speaker mounts and they don't um, take, they don't remove this excess material here and make it like the stock setup. So what happens is it's a full, you know, three quarter or sometimes one inch thick. And what they're doing is when they're putting, they're putting pressure against the door panel on their car and they're gonna put, you're gonna cause a stress, stress creases and it's gonna actually cause your door to make noise because it's pushing on the door panel like it, it was not designed for. When you install this set, it doesn't put any pressure on your door panel. So it, it's more like the stock setup. So anyhow, that's why we cut these precisely like this to fit the, uh, make it look just like it was when it was stock. The other thing we think, the other thing we include is the bolt kit you're going to need because these are a little bit thicker than your, than your, um, stock Toyota speakers. So you need the longer bolts. And <clears throat> again, we take the, uh, we cut these tweeter mounts out specifically for the CTX 65. So this is a standard package out of the box. Let me get the, uh, open up the speakers and show those to you. Okay. Manual. You're not gonna need the speaker cover since your, uh, since your um, door panel's gonna cover the speaker. Put those out of the way. Move that out of the way. First thing you're gonna notice is uh, Image, Dyna Image Dynamics includes speaker wire. Uh, there's some mid-base, mid-woofer, mid-base speaker wiring, and then tweeter wiring as well, and you'll see where that comes in handy in a second. Okay. Oop. They include some hardware as well. All right, here you can see the, oh, let me see if I can get that in the video. This is your mid-range driver. This is a really nice set of speakers. I mean, it's an amazing bang for the buck. We move quite a bit of these. We actually use this product, this particular one in our SQ2 package. And we have a lot of people that start out with this speaker, uh, kind of like as an entry level thing. They'll upgrade their head unit, put in these speakers, get some better sound. And then as their budget allows, they start kind of growing around this, this system, which is really nice. Um, so this is a speaker that's included. It handles 100 watts RMS. Now remember to pay attention to the, to the RMS numbers, which is your nominal or your real, it's a, root mean square, which basically in electrical terms, actually we'll cover that in some videos later on, but basically that's the true output on what the speaker can handle. We've actually powered them about 120 watts pretty consistently and they do very well. Okay. Out of the way. <clears throat> Next thing you're going to notice in the box are the tweeters and then the crossover. And the crossovers tend to be a little bit intimidating to some folks, and I'm going to actually show you how to do that, how to actually hook them up in this video. They're actually pretty easy. So this is what you're looking at when you get our standard package. The speaker mounts, the bolts, the tweeter, and the mid-range woofer. 
don't know if you can see that. Let's see the mid-range, so the mid-range woofer, mid-range driver. What you get? All right. Let me shift a couple things here. I want to show you. I want to show you how to hook up the. Um, I'm going to show you how to hook up the crossover so you guys can see it's not that difficult. I'm going to pause here for a second and come right back. All right. So here you're looking. I'm going to actually show you how to wire this up. I'm going to try and zoom in here. Let me see how my zoom works. Zoom. Okay. I'm hopefully I'm hoping you can see this in the video. Here you can see on the this is your crossover, and what this what a, a crossover's job is it basically is like an air traffic controller. The power is is a input here, and then it directs the frequencies for the mid range to this driver, and then it directs the tra the traffic or the frequencies for the tweeters this way. Um, hope that makes sense, but I mean, I'll show you, show you in a second. So basically here we've got an in, this is coming from your head unit or your amp. So you've got your positive and your negative. This comes uh, from the wiring, you know, from your truck. If you're running, if you're doing it from your head unit, I'll show you that in a second. The W is for your woofer or mid range driver. Again, that's your positive and negative. And then you've got your tweeter positive and negative. We offer this as an option on our website. This is a wiring harness kit. If you guys are planning on um, installing, using or powering these from your head unit or from an aftermarket head unit, what you can do to avoid cutting any wires is you purchase this harness and this plugs into where the old stock wiring was. And then you take this, the white is your positive, plug it in here, the uh, black is your negative. You're gonna cut these, attach them here plug this into your existing speaker wire and you don't have to cut any wires in your truck. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. Let's see. So positive, negative. And then again, if you decide not to, you'll have to cut the wires in your truck splat and uh, attach them into here. Use the adapter to avoid cutting any wires. Or if you're running an amplifier, of course, you'd run the power here. Uh, in another video, I'll actually show you, uh, we'll actually show you how to put these in uh, where to where to actually put these in the car. So that's all there is to installing. It's really not that difficult. A lot of people have questions on these crossovers and um, it's basically because they've never used them before. And it really helps and improves sound quality. Um, let me see. Oh, another option is a lot of people tend to upgrade. Let me zoom out here a little bit. All right. A lot of people tend to upgrade to our heavy duty plastic mounts. These things are very thick, very heavy. Um, I mean, they're they're extremely dense, and they're basically going to last as long or not or longer than your than your Toyota. A lot of people tend to opt for these now. Again, these are cut specifically for this driver, and then uh, you don't ever have to worry about these getting wet, moist, whatever, because they're act you know they're they're uh, they're a very high uh, very heavy duty plastic. The other material, again, is actually still pretty good. It's an outdoor grade material, but a lot of people tend to upgrade to this. This is an optional upgrade. And of course, this is an, uh, the wire harness is an upgrade. So I just wanted to show you what's included in the kit. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email us, sales at tacotunes.com. And let's, I'll give you a little view on the drivers. Everybody wants to, you know, wants to see. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good size. All right. And then here's the crossover so you guys can take a better look. Okay, and then speaker wiring. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. Tweeters. And that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of the product. Thanks, and I hope you guys order from us.